경애하는 김성은 동지께서 러시아 연방 의무상을 접견하셨습니다. North Korea and Russia appear to be getting even closer as the United States has issued renewed warnings over the North supplying Russia with weapons. That includes a speech from American President Joe Biden, but more on that in a moment. First, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's trip to North Korea this week. His two-day stay from Wednesday was a follow-up to last month's summit between the two countries' leaders, Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin, who also accepted an invitation to visit the North at some point. And during a meeting that lasted an hour, Kim told Lavrov that he sought to build a 100-year plan for a stable and future-oriented new era of North Korea-Russia relations, according to North Korean state media Friday. Lavrov himself apparently vowed complete solidarity with Pyongyang. He added that Russia fully supports all of North Korea's policies adopted to defend its national interests, calling North Korea a genuine independent state unfazed by any pressure of the US and the West. What's also interesting is that Kim and Lavrov mentioned implementing what was agreed during that summit last month. While we don't officially know what Kim and Putin agreed, all signs point to strengthen military ties and North Korea supplying Russia with weapons aside from the formal denials from both sides. But Lavrov did thank Pyongyang for supporting its special military operation in Ukraine based on a transcript released by Russia's foreign ministry. And the US doesn't seem to have any doubts at all. President Biden said in a speech Thursday evening in Washington that Russia has been using North Korean weapons to attack Ukraine. And this was after the US revealed last week that the North had shipped 1,000 containers of military equipment and munitions to Russia in recent weeks for use in Ukraine. In fact, the evidence continues to mount with VOA citing Planet Lab's satellite imagery captured Thursday showing a large ship docked at a North Korean port location already flagged by the US. The dock itself can be seen piled high with various containers and suspicions have been further raised because the ship in question had its automatic identification system turned off. So Washington has said it will take whatever steps it can to hold to account those involved in arms transfers between North Korea and Russia. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller stressed the US will closely monitor related developments. And so will we. Please help us do that with a like, subscribe, and feel free to join the conversation by commenting below.